<laughs> Thank you. Hi guys, Sacred Girl 89 here. Welcome to my streams on my channel. It's great to see you all. Thank you, Sideways Nissan, for the follow. Yeah, and, but instead of a S, it's a Z. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, I have to admit, because of that poll not happening, I'm really glad to be doing this game, which is Endless Ocean Numerous. I've seen it advertised on the Nintendo Switch and I've always wanted to play it because obviously for those of you who don't know and for those of you who do know depending who's hopping on the stream I am an SSI scuba diver oh I was Paddy as well before then those are scuba diving organizations but um, I've been diving for four, since I was 14 years old I'm now 30 <clears throat> something <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my actual age, but I've been diving for a long time and um, and I absolutely love it. I did try and become a uh, professional. I did try and become what you call a dive master, which is a first instructor level, but I've decided not to do it after a while because I, did, I never had the confidence to do it. And um, But that's okay. I mean, I love my job that I've got now and, you know, I love, to be honest, I love diving for leisure more than doing it as a job as a as a um as a business but 
hey, things aren't work, work out for the work, for the best sometimes. But anyway, so I'm very interested in playing this game because it looks so much fun. But the, the thing is about it, because I really want you to get a perspective of how we see it as divers because there's some things they do get it right in the scuba dive in when they talk about scuba diving in movies tv shows games there's some stuff they get right but some stuff they get wrong or they twist it a bit so i'm going to give my authentic scuba diving opinion on this game um if anybody scuba divers are watching and they point it out or even say that i've got it wrong that's okay i'm just saying it as it is, as from my perspective, my opinion. And I'm also look, looking forward to seeing what um, species of animal that we see in the ocean. I can, I'll see if I can identify some fish that um, I've seen before or I've, I know that exists. But anyway, never mind that, let's get into it. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to playing this game since it came out, but obviously we got busy. Woo! We got busy with, um, ooh. As you increase your rank, you'll be able to unlock additional stickers that you can use to customize your gear. Ooh, I like that. Oh. The change in the ocean. Oh, here Testing that. communication systems. Can you hear me? I can. Sarah. You must be the new researcher HQ sent. It's nice to meet you. Okay. The, our character must be a marine biologist. I'm your so. survey, exploration, and research assistant AI. You may call me Sarah. I'll be providing support to you during your dives. Hmm. Showing love from the Crypto Lounge. Good luck with the stream. Thank you, Starmy. Thank you for your hard work on behalf of the Ocean Research Project. The head office reports that you're one of their best. Oh, well, stop. I'm going bright red. <laughs> Please begin moving so that I can confirm your location. Okay. Oh, wow. So this is a full mask. Full face mask. Plus we've got the tank on the back. Kind of got a, a clasp there. Um, there's the BCD, the Bouncy Control Device, that jacket thing. Um, we've got our, oh, we've got the secondary stage, the octopus, in case people, your buddy runs out of air, so you can give them your air. And there's your air gauge as well. Bins, two wearing gloves. I like that we're not using our hands, we're just using our feet. Very good. Location <gasps> the pony and fish over you there. You may now swim whichever way you like. Now, let's make sure the lenses in your mask are working correctly so you can perform lenses. your research. Okay. When you scan a creature, you should be able to see its biological data. Try scanning the fish over there. Yep, the pony and wrasse. So, how do we... Here we go. Homehead Rass, not a cold Napoleon Rass. Scan successful. Note that if you keep holding the button, you'll be able to scan more creatures. Okay. When you scan a new organism, its biological data is transmitted to HQ. Hmm. Scan more and more organisms to build up your reputation as a researcher. Hmm. So we're like a bi marine biologist in a way. You might have noticed that after you scanned it, the light you saw on it disappeared. Hmm. I'll get into why that happened at a later point. Okay. This is the Veiled Sea, an ocean region whose topographical features are in constant flux. Hmm. Feel free to explore and simply let me know when you are ready to continue your dive training. Ooh. We've completed chapter one already. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Budding Investigator. Cool. But I do like how you he keep hearing the actual sounds of the breathing in the background. Because you do sound like your Darth Vader. <sighs> okay. Then this come to an end. 
Right. So. Okay. I haven't got anything to customize yet. Have we? Oh, I'm definitely going to go for pink. Oh yeah, I love that. Oh, we need to... So we need to... So I need to buy these. Okay. Stickers. <gasps> We've got Nemo and Dory! Haha! <laughs> Nemo and Dory right there. That is so cool. <laughs> Salute. Oh, that's typical. Pause when you're just relaxing. Ah. Oh yeah, that's when you can be practicing your hovering in the water. Oh, I'm thinking. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you make a heart. That's kind of cute. I have to admit, they do go in that position as well too to hover. So it's kind of. Really good clapping, clapping. I see no ships. This is very typical scuba diving stuff. I will get into that later. I didn't realize there was so much with this. Story. Um, we'll go for we'll we'll keep on going for the story. If people want to um join us. Ah. Salvage. The world coral. Hmm. We've arrived at the canyon. As you can see, there's only a narrow passage between the cliffs. Mm. Our destination is a nearby cave. I'll mark its location for you. Wow, so there's a canyon about there. Wow, this is so beautiful. I love the input of that. Down currents tend to occur in areas like this that have steep drop offs. Mm. A down current occurs because the water is actually falling into the crevice toward the seafloor. Isn't nature fascinating? Yeah, but that is also very dangerous. You need to be careful of those. So swim upward, swim downward. Oh, you can perform a dolphin kick. We rarely use these sometimes, but it's cool to have. Ooh. You will notice a large reef composed of many diverse species of coral. Mm. We call this the world coral. Mm. It's home to a unique ecosystem with numerous creatures living in and around it. Yeah, you can see. Research shows it is critical to sustaining life throughout the veiled sea. But look here. What? Some parts of it are dying. Wow, that is, that is true in real life. The cause life. of this necrotizing effect isn't currently understood, but it appears to be spreading, gradually killing this bustling hub of underwater life. Mm. If the necrosis continues, a point of no return will be reached. The world coral will die. It is a critical part of the ecosystem in the Veiled Sea, so such an event would profoundly impact life here and in the surrounding ocean. Project Aegis was founded to investigate why this is happening and stop the necrosis before it's too late. 
You are now the newest member of Project Aegis. Welcome. Thank you. Ready to get started? Sure, okay. Of course, as your assistant AI, I'll continue to provide you with navigational guidance and research support. So, pay that we don't have server, 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 or server, however you say it, in the ocean. I should know that you will not be allowed to return to the world coral without specific clearance from HQ. Huh. Now that you've gotten a good look at it, we'd better be on our way. It's, it's, I don't know whether we see like world corals like that, but it is, oh god. Huh? My sensors are showing an increase in activity. The cave is starting to shake. Analyzing. I detect unusual biometric signs nearby. Caution advised. That doesn't sound good. What the heck is that? That's a fish that I've never seen before. Or know about. Sending emergency transmission to HQ. Major disruption occurring at the World Coral. Researchers in the area may be in danger. There it is, and it's enormous. It looks like an extremely large bird. Ah! Because they're from Animal Crossing, that's why I didn't recognise it, because it's usually a bit smaller. They're very, that's a very ancient fish species. They still live sometimes. I've searched our database, and there are few examples of a coelacanth of that size, or with that golden colouring. Mm. I understand you want to investigate, but it's not safe. Seismic activity detected. The seafloor is shifting. Uh oh, that's not good. There's a risk that that creature will be agitated. I advise not to go near it. Use a dolphin kick to get away faster. Oh, I wanted to do the dolphin kick to get away from it. You should be out of danger now. And your vitals readout indicates you're not hurt. It's unusual to have such a strange experience on your first expedition. Then again, this is called the Ocean of Mystery for a reason. I hope we meet that creature again. But first, you'll be learning about salvage from one of the other divers on the team. It's a pain we're not actually doing much diving. But it is true what they say is... Um, it is true what they say, like, there is, I don't think there is such a place called the World Coral, but there are loads of corals because of the um, change in, the, because of pollution, also climate change, everything else that are in danger of dying out because of this, and of course it'll just, it will, it will make the um, ecosystem, the world's eco, the ocean's ecosystem as well as the world's um collapse a bit so we need so to be fair we need to be you know all of us as people and the governments they really need to do something about it they need to um protect the coral but more and change what we're doing which is you know destroying not you know we need to we need to help protect the ocean not destroy it um Right, I don't know whether... Um, we'll do this one. We'll go to chapter 3 and then I'm going to do some dives of it. There, there's 99 Misty. Shared dive I like that. I like that. HQ reviewed our data and confirmed the creature we saw last time was a new species. Ooh. I can only hope we see it again. 
but for today, we'll focus on finding salvage. There are lots of objects to be discovered in these waters, from household trash to ancient treasures. Part of your role as a researcher is to salvage these artifacts, bringing them to the surface so we can study them further. Well, the other thing as well, it's, it's all, this is, this is also to do with the, the ocean, is that if you, um, we're not just, we're not just getting artifacts for, to profit out of them, but we're also getting at, like, say we find a few bottle, a few plastic bottles, or even if we find, like, um, a plastic bag, we need to bring those to the surface because they're just going to damage any sea creatures, any sea life, coral, everything like that. We need to get rid of them. I mean, there's a, there was a um, charity or organisation with Paddy called Project to Wear, where you can learn about this stuff and try and salvage things carefully from the sea floor, so it doesn't damage the sea floor, but also you are collecting it and doing your part for the ocean to get rid of, um, like garbage and stuff in the ocean that shouldn't be there. So, this is it's one thing to keep in mind. To help you learn, you'll be joined by another diver. Here he is now. Oh, hello, my buddy. You should not be going on solo dives unless you're trained to. Hey, name's Daniel. I already know you're a sacred girl. Heard you got pretty shook up. A little bit. But the reason why they're talking is because with the full face masks, if you know, and they get microphones in. If you had just a mask and regulator, which is what you usually have, you won't be able to talk under the water. You rely on um, hand signals for communication or even writing down on a slate. Yep. Daniel is one of the most senior divers on the team. He's very knowledgeable about the Veiled Sea. Mm-hmm. Shall we get started? As Daniel would no doubt tell you, the best way to find salvage is to look for glowing objects on the ocean floor. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. I would embrace that. Salvage found. Well done spotting it. Oh, well, it's hard not to miss it. Thanks, I guess. That sounds Transmission just from HQ. We've been asked to relocate to the northwest and search for salvage there. Hmm. So we're going this way. Ah. Salvage found. It seems the harder something is to find, the more valuable it is. <laughs> HQ has granted permission to search in the northeast. Please continue looking for salvage. I like how they've done the surface very well with the water. That looks quite good. Ah, hello. What's that? Just got some clams over here. That looks like some barnacles. Hmm. This merits further investigation. I'll call Daniel over. Well, this is the thing. If Daniel was our buddy in real life, you need to keep an arm's width with each other together you should not be going off and without your buddy you should be you should be sticking together even if you're just salvaging stuff together you need to be together 
and at arm's reef because if anything happens between you and another person you need to get assistance from your buddy right away so that's not a good thing that he's so far away and considering he's a senior considering he's a senior one then he should know better it's it appears to be a stone tablet, a very old one. The square patterns suggest it might be a chessboard. Hmm. I'll cross-reference against the database and try to provide further analysis. Please stand by. Of course. Result found, 74% match. This appears to be a relic of the Oans people who perished tens of thousands of years ago. Ah. Little is known about the Oans, but it's said they built a thriving civilization on the Veiled Sea. Hmm. In legend they are referred to as the Guardians of the Sea, an advanced people who lived in harmony with the ocean. <laughs> yeah, me and my beginner's luck. The value of a genuine OM. This is why you should be sticking be with me. Request received from HQ. We've been asked to bring the tablet back for study. Okay. <laughs> if it really is an OAN's artifact, it would be a monumental discovery. HQ will confirm and provide compensation accordingly. Very good, very good. Right. I think I'll go into some shared dives. Yeah, I'll do these there. Mm, Sometimes when the in the um, it does say that. Fish, butterfly fish, redfin butterfly fish, redfin butterfly fish. Yeah, I've not. I can't remember those names. <gasps> oh, how no, is that turtle? Ah, oh, yes. I've seen turtles before. They're beautiful. Leatherback turtle. It's a good one. Sarah. Leatherback turtle. Oh, Transmission oh. from HQ. A UML may be in this area. To locate it, please Ooh. scan the other anomalous creatures marked on your map with orange circles. Your scanner will also flash orange when you're getting close to one of the targets. Good luck. Ooh. Is that a stepper shark? A banded hound shark. I've not heard of that um, species before. Banded hound. Wow. Oh, the night dad now. Oh, I got teddy bear. Butterfly, nice. Mm -hmm. 
Some of these are quite common fish, but you know, spot fin butter butterfly fish. Yeah, there's so many species of butterfly fish, it's incredible. Kind of porpoise. Common sense dolphin. Oh, cute. And who are you all? Sea Goldie. This is a sergeant. Sapphire Devil. Cool. Stocky and teardrop butterfly fish. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, hello. What fish are you? Bicolor parrot fish. Ooh, I've, I love parrot fish. Scrub butterfly fish. Ooh, there's a drop off of you. Ooh, there's a marlin over there. Swordfish. Atlantic blue marlin. Mmm, there we go. Awesome! Hello, who are you? Flathead, flathead grey mullet. Oh, that's a cornet fish right there. Japanese eel. Okay, I got that wrong. Japanese spiny lobster. So we could be in... in Near Japan, then, obviously. Oh, oh hello. Hmm? The Benio. There we go. Hmm? The music. Japanese fan lobster. Oh, hello, killer whale, a marker. Oh, yes, that is beautiful. Sokai salmon. Hey, hello, hello, and you guardians. Aren't you beautiful? Hello! I'd love to meet you in real life. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, I can't believe it interacted with me. That is really cool. in this game already. Wow, 
love how the light reflects on the uh that is true how it is on the sand that's how the light is reflected from up top beautiful Something's here. A mermaid tiara? Okay, I need to address that because if that is a... If it was a mermaid tiara that we dropped, I'd understand. But if it was a mermaid tiara that we made out of shells and stuff, don't do that because that is really, really bad. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's one of those guys. Oh, those are different, those ones. Now come forward a bit. Southern bluefin tuna. Nice. Sandwich, anybody? Oh, hello. I was trying to scan the uh, dolphin, but okay. Bottlenose dolphin, there we go. Hello. Where did you... Oi! <gasps> A sunfish. Giant sunfish, there we are. Oh, very rare to find. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, hello. Who are you? Rare. Orca, white one. Very nice. Wow. Beautiful. Hello. All targets have been scanned and the mission is complete. Well done. Aww. Oh, that tells me on the side, um, you know, how many meters I was down. Oh, hello. Transmission from HQ. A very large source of strange biometric signs has been detected in the area. Sending drone footage. Must be a deep sea fish of some kind. Yeah, I don't recognize it unless it's a Goliath again. Wow. It has a slender body and large pectoral fins. It appears to use those fins to swim gracefully as well. That's beautiful. Oh! It did a sort of spin in the water. If you look closely, you can see its body changing color as well. Mm. This is certainly interesting behavior. Please scan the creature and collect data to send back to HQ. No problem. Transmission fun. from HQ. Additional UML data received. A close examination of the collected data will be conducted. Hello. This species may be part of the Caraproctus genus but it's significantly larger than any other known member. The unusual development of its fins raises mm. questions as well. For instance, why would it grow pectoral fins of such an unusual length? Headquarters has sent word that, after seeing how graceful this creature looks as it swims, they have decided to call it Lomba Apsara. Mm. I look forward to seeing what future investigations reveal about this species. After all, few creatures leave a diver with such wonderful memories after an encounter. That's not true. There's plenty. I have to admit, I could see a lot of. Um, uh, yeah, 
meters. It's telling us how many meters we have on the right. That's kind of cool. Oh, my leg. Okay. What button did I press then? Oh, I'm over here now. Oh, we need to go over there. Jar of pickles. Yeah, we definitely need to salvage a map of the ocean in case some, some fish get to that and get sick. So, oh. What happens when you go to the surface? Oh, it won't let me go any higher. That's a shame. Uh... I have to admit, this game is impressing me so far. I mean, it doesn't do the whole thing about, um, you know... Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Dory! Blue Towns! See the old day. Eel tail catfish. Nice. Oh yay, Dory! Cute. Oh, hello. Sawfish. Nice. We found a wreck. Small scale white men. What are those? Angelfish, ah yes. Angelfish, they're cute. Let's go up. I wanna see what the what, what's on this wreck. Cause there's a lot I have to admit, when I first became a diver, I didn't think there was a lot. Ooh! Hello. Elegant firefish. One spine porcupine fish, Balamundi, Blackfish dartfish, Blackfin dartfish, Fire Gobi, Red Sea Bream. Oh, that's from the Red Sea. Lunar Lionfish. Oh, these these guys. You see them in the Red Sea in places and they're, and they're called Spotfin porcupine fish. Can we actually go in here? Well, there's not many. Blackhead Sea Bream. Orange Spine Unicorn Fish that we can't look at. Where is it? Oh, 
but yeah, you should. This is a tip. You unless you are trained to, you should never go in wrecks unless you unless you're trained to. You have sp you have um speciality courses with that, which are really cool. It's really cool because this is actually spotted knife jar. This is actually very educational uh, for kids and stuff, mm -hmm. but if anybody else is interested in being in the ocean. Black scraper. Ooh, hello. I recognise you. Sailfin tank. Clown triggerfish. Oh, triggerfish are the worst. Divers hate them more than sharks, and I'll tell you for why. Because when it's nesting season for them, when it's nesting seal, see, when it's nesting season for them, they will attack anything in that area, and it's like a cone ship. So if you go to surface, you're still, you still going to be uh, attacked. Line surgeon fish. Very nice, very nice. Woo! Space squid. This is amazing. Orange spine unicorn fish. The reason why they're called unicorn fish is because they have their um, horn on their front, even though that one does not have a horn. Oh, hello, Mr. Shark, sir. Shopping Mako Shark. Nice. Nice. But yeah, we fear these fin we fear triggerfish more than sharks. It's crazy. Oh, we've already got that guy. Yeah, so if you Oh, have our race! Fantail there. Tassel Wallop. Okay. Broad Cowtail there. Yellow Goose Fish. On the night dive now. Swordfish. Night dives are quite unique. There's like um transmission from HQ, UML vanishing from the dive site in concurrence with topographical shifts. However, faint signs continue to linger. If you're lucky, you may find another UML in these waters. Oh, HQ will continue to monitor the situation. In the meantime, please enjoy the sea and all it offers. Happy diving! But yeah, um, night diving, you need to have a specific, you need to do a specialty course in that as well too, you can't just go diving at night, you need to know the risks. Alright. But yeah, you need to have some kind of light source. Warm star. American lobster. With a yellow and a yellow colour. Oh, hello. But there are, what's cool about night dives is that you have, um, you only see specific fish during the night time, or you see them specific, being in a specific way. Monto, Monto Rupa. Oh, 
Hello. North Pacific white whale. Yellow fin tuna. Cool. Hello. Yeah, I wish some of these fins I've I've encountered on actual dives, but there's always plenty of time to see them. I imagine. Hello. Hello, dolphin. Mm. Hello there. Oh, that's a sunfish again. Mm -hmm. I think you've only seen those in Hawaii or someplace. Wow, we are moving further and further away from the place where we're meant to go. Oh well, we've discovered a lot of stuff. Hello, who are you? Yellow tail, yellow striped butterfly fish. Nice. Oh, hello. A silver whale statue. Very good, very good. Yeah, we've already got these. Got a record though. Oh, hello. Stingray. Black Calton. Okay. Ah, I've seen these. Blue spotted ribbon tail bear. Oh, well, I've heard not a, a, a blue spotted bear. I've never heard it called being a ribbon tail, but okay. Beautiful. Like I said, guys, I'm very impressed with this game. Ah, oh, blue tan. Dory again. Transmission from HQ. A UML may be in this area. To locate it, please scan the other anomalous creatures marked on your map. Your scanner will also flash orange when you're getting close to one of the targets. Good luck. Alright then, I need to head north. So this way. Let's go. Wow, look at that. Oh. Ah, there was actually some south of where I was. I, I want to go this way now. Oh, hello. Tea now. Oh, hello. How are you? No whales! Oh. So Ah, he's probably gone that way. Spectacle porpoise. Hello. Mm 
Hello. Ah. That's beautiful. Oh, hello. You are. Oh, my goodness. Banatos? Uh, I don't want to go near you, buddy. You're quite a um, big guy. So there's someone over here. Ooh! Is that it? I don't think, I think I've seen these guys before. Oh no! Some of them those well. I know, I know. Beautiful. Red king crab. Nice. Japanese spider crab. They're quite big. They're huge. I've seen them at um, my local sea life centre. Oh, hello. Tuna? Yep. I've had seen these. Oh, there must be a different kind of tuna. But... Oh, whoa. Ah. to descend a bit lower to see this. Oh. Hmm. Bit above us. Oh, hello. Is this the same one again? Yeah, I've already seen this one, so we need to go back up here. Hello, cutie. Another Arca, cute. So we need to uh, go this way. If I go behind here, maybe I'll find something. Yeah, we've been diving for a long time. We won't be able, it'll be impossible for us to dive this long, like all through the, all through the days and nights. It'll be physically impossible, otherwise, we would get the compression sickness, the bends, all that jazz. Ooh! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Ah, I've already seen you before. That's the same one I found earlier. Yeah. So where's this other one? So where's this one? Maybe I have to descend a bit lower to find it. Oh, hello. Ah, Antarctic cod. Hmm. That's night to this daylight now. We'll be able to find it then. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, beluga. Beluga whales. I love them.
Beautiful. So basically gone to the um, colder waters like in the North and South Pole. Oh, hello. So where are we? This is a beautiful place. Oh no, hello. the sharks that can live for quite a long time. Oh, hello! Oh, that's the level back total that we've seen before. Oh, hello! Great white shark. Yeah, I was about to say that looks a bit different from your typical one. go south. Try and get those ones over that way. Butter mash, butter mash. Oh, bye tea hell. That way we missed the opening back there. Ah, there we go. Right, so if we're going to keep going this direction, we'll be able to hit that other um, thing. I like how the music changes to, to get the atmosphere, it does it very well. Oh, 
There we go. We got here. Red to Amberjack. Cool. Are we back at the wreck that we saw before? Or is this a different one? According to this, it should be around here. send us to go back. Try going to going east. I love how it makes those echoey voices when you get near something like this. That's very that's very um, realistic. this thing. Mouth guitar fish, Japanese angel shark. Cool. Mm -hmm.
Right guys, um I hate to break I'm not gonna end the I'm not gonna end the dive, but I need to go to the loo, so I'll be right back. I yeah, I need to uh go to the I'll be right back. Just be just talk amongst yourselves, I'll be right back.
sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Right though. Get some more of my tea here. Right. Ah, oh, where were we? It looked like there was another... Just stay marked, okay. Seconds left. I want to be on this dive longer. So we've done very well. We've climbed up three. We've leveled up three times, which is awesome. Right, I think I might continue the story. Oh, let's see if I can customise.
Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for this. Stickers, definitely stickers. This one, that seems a cool one. So press, you can encourage us. Ah, oh, cool. Oh yeah. Bubbles. See bubbles, that'll probably be another dive, but yeah, that's right. That's a good way good to morning. look at each other. I hope you were able to get some rest after all the excitement yesterday. Today, I'll be teaching you about tagging. Okay. Tags are a useful way to communicate with other <sighs> divers, but they can also help you navigate around in the ocean. Okay. Let's start by tagging a creature. Scan one and select the tag you want to apply while focused on it. Okay. to keep track of this creature's location on your map. Ah, so that's what that's for. Tags can also be attached to salvage. Let's try it. There appears to be salvage in that area. Successfully applied. This salvage will now be marked on your map. Okay. You can also see tags on your map from divers who are sharing with you. I'll go into more detail about sharing later. That's cool. It looks like Daniel saw your tag and decided to head this way. Okay. Oh, hello, Daniel. Receiving transmission. The researchers at HQ have concluded their study of the artifact. Okay. The artifact was confirmed to be an ancient relic of the Oans people. HQ is referring to it as the mystery board. Those pockets, by the way, by around Daniel's some you know, I think they well there's either two things they can be used for. Weight belts with weight to because obviously you need to, you need to be anchored down by weights and obviously distributed evenly or obviously that's where they put their salvage or maybe it's both. On it are squares containing inscriptions relating to the mysteries of the Veiled Sea. They've been called the ninety nine mysteries. For some reason, due to properties not understood by HQ scientists, the squares appear to be capable of producing light. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Scientifically speaking, that wouldn't be possible. Then again, it would hardly be the first phenomenon we've seen with no rational explanation. That's true. Hmm. What was the artifact catch you wanted? The mystery board will prove very valuable if it helps us learn more about these mysterious waters or shows us how to save the world coral. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna go for another shared dive. I think I'm gonna. How do you equip that um, color pattern? Ah, oh, there we go. Actual to political diver behavior sometimes. Paint me like one of your um, French girls, Jack. <laughs> So press the plus button. Okay. Oh, hello. <gasps> A whale shark! I love them! So how do you... Transmission from HQ. A UML may be in this area. Your scanner. Okay, cool. Let's go find it then. I saw those in uh, the Maldives, and oh god, I loved every second of them, especially with my sister. Green humphead parrotfish. Oh wow. Another crown coin.
Wow, I didn't pick it up. Oh. Yeah, let's go. So, I don't... It says to press plus and then you could have a creature dive, but nothing happened. And it just gets me back to that menu. That's a bit silly. Painted sweet lips. Okay. about this colour palette again. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's not so bright and in your face. Some kind of marlin. And a Pacific sailfish. What? What's that? I'll just keep going this way. <sighs> Quite deep, I have to admit. Right. 
person's going down down. All targets have been scanned and the mission is complete. Well done. God, the visibility in here is bad. Transmission from HQ, unusual biometrics detected in the area. Sending drone footage. A drone captured an image of a seaweed-looking object. Let's take a closer look. Oh. Is this some new kind of seaweed? I've never seen it before. Hmm. Looks kind of almost flowery. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in the ocean, personally, so... It looks like something just moved behind the rock. Let's take a closer look. What the heck is that? Is this object actually a living creature? Oh, it does appear cute. to be the source of the biometrics that were detected. Please perform a scan and send back data to shed some light on this. Alright, where this is this uh, boy? The creature has been registered in the the researchers at HQ report that, based on its shape, it appears to be a sea slug. Po mm -hmm. HQ has decided to give this species the moniker Amamatsumi. Further study mm -hmm. is needed. Alright, where is it? Oh, so it's over there. I need to get out of there then. Oh, cool. Leopard Ray. Leopard Wood. Leopard See this cutie pie. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's quite a lot of divers in this area. Salty. <gasps> there it is. Hello, cutie pie. Excuse me. Red Sea Perch. Okay. Okay. Hello. Fishes. Well, hello. <gasps> oh, yeah, I've seen that. Ah, oh, that's only found in Hawaii, I believe. What are these blue ball lights do? But... Round herring. Spanish hogfish.
butterfish. Trying to butt me up, are you? Sound interesting. Oh, hello. Zephyr shark, white. Iron axe. Okay. Excuse me, beg your pardon. Transmission from HQ, UML vanishing from the dive site in concurrence with topographical shifts. However, faint signs continue to linger. If you're lucky, you may find another UML in these waters. Okay. HQ will continue to monitor the situation. In the meantime, please enjoy the sea and all it offers. Happy diving! Thank you. Hello. Our emperor fish. Yeah, and for angelfish, they're beautiful. Oh. Wow, there's quite a lot. Someone's over here giving. Oh, good job. Long thin yellow. Long tail. Did I see something up in the distance? There. What is that? Oh! Squid! A giant squid! Just miss these guys. Oh, low battery. Uh, 
That's charging. In fact, let me just make sure. Let me just come out of here and then. Yeah, it is. Let's get back in touch. Orange circles. Your scanner. Ooh, got another one. Should be called the Pauline Rass. Small scale blackfish. Okay. <sighs> I like how it use you have a light and then as soon as you get back to the surface in a minute you'll, you'll be fine. Oh yeah actually.
<laughs> What's down here? I have to maneuver very carefully going down here. It's like a cave. Cool. Wow, that's really deep. I like how the visibility gets low as well too. Wow, what is down here? Oh, that's pretty. And I there's nothing down here, but oh well. Nice and slowly ascending. Oh, hello. Cool. I'm a hedgehog. Scallop tumbling shark, excuse me. Well, it's worth the those worth it coming down here to see them. Oh, hello. All targets have been scanned and the mission is complete. Well done. Hmm. Oh, there's more of them. Transmission from HQ, biometrics consistent with Amamatsumi, detected in the area. Oh. Sending drone footage. Still here. Oh, th thanks, Stormy. Thank you for still being here. Ugh. I have confirmed that this seaweed appears where Amamatsumi is. Let's take a closer look. Uh -huh. Thank you, Stami. This is classified as a plant. As such, it would fall under the category of seaweed. Uh -huh. Amamatsumi was behind the rock and has come out. Let's take it's a closer quite, look. It's quite a cute little thing, this thing. Well, luckily I've managed to scan it, so that's... From good. here, we can see the head of this species. Look how cute no it is! No particular changes have been observed. Please proceed to the location and scan the subject so headquarters can analyze the data. Mm, mm. Excuse me, excuse me. But yeah, this game has impressed me so, so far. I mean, luckily it doesn't have all that things worrying about air, air consumption, but you can tell that they thought about, you know, the equipment, the 
because obviously they've still got the gauge there and also the um, second stage octopus for the um, in case your buddy, excuse me, in case your buddy runs out of there. Very HQ has received your data. Some research suggests that this species actually stimulates activity in the surrounding seaweed, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions. We've also observed the seaweed changing color, seemingly in response to the creature's own body changing color. Additional research is required for us to fully understand this phenomenon. We can only hope that the mysteries surrounding this remarkable species come to light soon. Mm -hmm. As for us, we should keep exploring. Maybe the surrounding seaweed... Yeah. <sighs> My god, excuse me, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I do beg your pardon. Oh, down, down, down. Yeah, I've just got them. Oh, hello. The path so everybody else has been taken, which is kind of cool. Alfonsino. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Ooh. Snow crabs, they're quite big too. Hello. Oh, it's a hammerhead chair. Hello, who are you? Striped bonito. Striped beautiful in Spanish. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, follow you, skillfish. Nice. So I'll have the charcoal. Oh, hand shark, excuse me. Right, uh... <coughs> yeah, I got that guy. So tight now, excuse me. Oh, hello. Atlantic Tarpon. underwater camera. Nice. Yeah, people usually use GoPros and stuff like that because they're a lot easier and they've already been um, manufactured to be underwater because this is the thing. In the old days, that's what we mean by an older underwater camera because you need to buy the, because there's only particular housings for, for each for a model of underwater cameras so you, and they've only made them for specific ones so what you would have to do is buy a camera which is god knows how much money and then buy the housing for it which is a lot so a lot of people use gopros i mean you don't go you don't need to go um i mean 13 meters is your deepest dive unless you unless you can go deeper um with certain courses but specific courses but speciality courses should i say but yeah the you might as well just learn how to go pro and stuff i mean that's what i did in the maldives and yeah oh is that cornet fish Red cornet fish, yeah, there we go. 
But yeah, um, so you might as well rent out a GoPro or Perfectionist. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's flying fish. Japanese flying fish. That's so cool. I've seen flying fish, obviously. They can, they can jump Transmission from HQ. You, however, faint signs. HQ will continue. Yeah. Might as well continue in this direction. As um. Oh, hello. Oh, bicolor angel fish. Red parrot fish, that's cool. Right, I need to give a tag for this guy. Not you. Yeah, in, p in case people want to come see this guy. Oh god, I'll not want to go near that guy, that thing. That could, thing could swallow you whole. Jesus. Right, swim away! Swim away! Fish. But yeah, when it comes to uh, photography and uh, underwater photography or even more underwater video, GoPros are the way to go. Especially recent ones. Oh, I was about to say that looks like a. Um, it's a squid, but I thought it might look like cuttlefish. Pyramid butterfly fish. Flowers parrot fish. Transmission from HQ. A UML may be in this area. To locate it, please scan the other anomalous creatures marked on your map with orange ah. circles. Your scanner will also flash orange when you're getting close to one of the targets. Good luck. Coolio. No, oh, we're getting close to actually one unintentionally. Let's go. Okay, let's go. 
Big Hydra Valley, spotted. Ooh, nice. Turtles, because I'd love to see some more turtles. Oh, hello. Is anybody else on this side still with us? Oh, they're down there. Look at those lots. Power fish, that's quite funny. That name. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've already got this guy. Yep. Dives last. Right. All we got left on the dive. Six minutes. Okay. I think because how long these shared dies last, I'll probably do a continue my story until 10 o'clock. And obviously, I'll need to come off. But, hmm. Zebra shark. White, that's kind of cute. Lemon shark, is it not? Oh, grand air shark. Never mind. <laughs> Oh. 
Glass butterfly fish. All targets have been scanned and the mission is complete. Well done. Well, Transmission from HQ, biometrics consistent with Amamatsumi detected uh, in the area. Well, these guys. Sending drone footage. <sighs> I have confirmed that this seal. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I just remember, um, you know, Marley not finding me. HQ has received some re we've also we can as for Okay. Hmm. 
I do apologise for me yawning it during the stream. I didn't mean to have a meet to do that. Oh, let's go for the customise. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one too. I'll do guys is do one more story and then I'll come off um because honestly I've been yawning like a mad woman. I don't know if it's the game calming me down. It can't be the um the, it can't be the tea because I have that every night. Unless I'm that right in the way. Ooh. Hello there. I see someone has decided to join us for your last day of training. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Daniel must be feeling competitive after you found the mystery board. Today, you'll be free to make your own way through the Veiled Sea, using what you've learned as you explore. Mm -hmm. Mm. are easier to see after you scan them, since the shroud of light around them goes away. Uh -huh. HQ's working hypothesis is there are luminous bacteria that get uh -huh. revealed by electromagnetic waves from our scanning arrays. This process is known as collecting light. <laughs> Transmission from HQ. We have updated information about the status of the world coral. Alright. 
HQ monitoring systems have detected light emissions at the world coral and a concomitant reduction in necrotic matter. It seems that somehow, light is returning to the world coral and restoring it. the same large coelacanth that we encountered last time. Yeah. Well, I don't like those teeth. Risk level, moderate. While its temperament toward humans is unclear, the creature does not seem as agitated as last time. Oh, that's good then. <laughs> I advise trying to scan it. But please be careful. Okay. Where'd it go? Seriously, where did it go? Ah, there you are. You did it. Scan successful. Nice one. I'll transmit our data on the supersized coelacanth to headquarters. Okay. HQ has assigned this new species the name Raja Emma's, which translates to Golden King. Ooh. It's never been studied before, so needless to say, the data you gathered will be quite illuminating. Ooh. Chickened out and swam away. You shouldn't have done that. You should have stuck with me, Daniel. Any buddy will have to stick with each other. You don't swim away. You may and not if you did, know that's... that HQ maintains a numbered database of unidentified marine life, ah. or UMLs for short. <laughs> what UMLs mean? I've By scanning what Raja Emma's, you've officially discovered a UML. Congratulations. Nice. Your career with Project Aegis is off to a promising start. Mm. Strangely, it seems to have started shining in response to your discovery of Raja Emma's. Ooh. It appears you were right. We'll have to keep an eye on the mystery board as we do our research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with that, your training is now concluded. Between finding the mystery board and discovering Raja Emma's, it's been an eventful few days. I look forward to working with you both again. Happy diving! Okay. Oh. 
Ah, so I need to scan more sea creatures. Okay. Right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there because, like I said, the. Um, Like I said, I've been uh, yawning quite a bit and also um, been yawning quite a bit, getting a bit tired. But uh, I really enjoyed it. This game's quite good and I've and I think I did all right with guessing the sea creature's name. Some of them I didn't know about. But um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. This is a very good um, scuba diving game and quite good too. It's, yeah, I recommend anybody who's, who's a diver to play this. Um, it gives you the names of all species of um, animals and yeah, really, really good, really, really interesting. Anyway, guys. The next time I'll be streaming will be tomorrow night at 7.30, maybe 8pm-ish UK time, guys. And I'll be continuing Baldur's Gate 3. So hopefully you can join us for that. Um, we're going to raid somebody now. Who can we raid? Uh, let me see. Right, here we go. Right then. I know who to read. Right then, guys, we're going to read this person, so send your sacred love to them. Spam sacred read in the chat, and if you're a subscriber, please use that red amount of mine. And I'll hopefully see you tomorrow night for Baldur's Gate 3 at 7 30 8 pm UK time, guys. It's around that time because, uh, yeah, I need to um, get home and get sorted from work. But anyway, thanks for joining us, guys. Have a good night. Bye now. Good night.